Why is this a beast? Is it because it has a power supply? Is it because it's a multimeter? Does, is it because it does hot air? Or is it because it solders? Or maybe it's that USB right there. Or maybe that's only 125 bucks. Well, stay tuned and let's check it out. Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. So today I'm going to be talking to you about what I believe is the best soldering station on the planet and I'm not even joking when I say that. And let me tell you why. Um, I've had this soldering station for over a year now. When it first came out I got it for around $200 $250. Now it's, it only costs 125 bucks, which is insane. So let's talk about its soldering capabilities. Now it does have hot air. Perfect, it runs beautiful. You have your temperature control here and you have your fan speed here. So let's go ahead and just demonstrate the fan speed here. So once you remove it, it actually starts to start. And I am increasing the fan speed. And, and, and that's that's some intense fan speed, by the way. You, that'll blow all your SMD components off the board if you have it that high. So in that perspective, it works absolutely beautiful. It comes with a ton load of heads for this, so you don't have to go purchase any. So it comes with the whole kit and it's only $125, don't forget. And you know, the soldering iron works absolutely beautiful. You set the temperature, wait a couple seconds, and it's good to go, look how fast it's going. So in that perspective, it's also perfect. So, and here is the soldering iron. And I'm sure, pretty sure most of you have seen this. Uh, this is the only soldering iron I've been using since I first started and even before my channel. Another thing you guys need to take note of is this type. This is for this is connected straight to the soldering iron there. And some of these come with pro proprietary connections. However, this one doesn't. You can go ahead if you break it for some reason, five bucks to replace the whole soldering iron, which is insane. And the soldering iron tips, it takes just anything. It doesn't have any proprietary ones, so it's just universal. So that is also a huge plus. However, you might say, okay, well, let's check the wires. Now, the wires, they're giving you some pretty nice fat gauge silicone wires, and they do not get in your way while you're soldering. They're just, they just float around without touching anything. I mean, they touch stuff, but I mean, you know what I mean. It doesn't catch, it doesn't get on itself, and you can't burn it since they're silicone. Both of the wires for the hot air and the soldering iron there. So in this perspective, it's all good and done. It works absolutely beautiful. I've never had an issue. It's been super reliable. I come sit down, turn on the camera, click this, and then just start working, grab the soldering iron, it's always working. Not an issue there. Now, let's talk about something super crazy that comes with this. One, a USB, that's awesome. So you could charge at five volts, two amps, which is very good. Most chargers, well, are 1.1 amps basically but now this is a 2 amp which is pretty good I've tested it reached around 1.7 amp charging my power banks now this does not have quick charge or if you know that kind of stuff this came out before so don't expect that but to have 5 volt 2 amps is pretty awesome you can charge your GoPro you can charge whatever you want and from that perspective it's good and that's all it does there however the best part of all here is this here so you get these three female uh, banana clip kind of thing connectors going here you get a positive ground and another positive. And if you could read here, it says test voltage, and here it says di output display. Okay, well, what does that mean? Well, this is awesome. Check this out. So you would turn this guy on, and you set it to test voltage. Now, what this becomes, it actually becomes a multimeter, believe it or not. It's pretty insane. So let's go ahead and connect our any multimeters probe. I mean, the standard basic banana kind of type probes will just work in here. So here we go. We've just go ahead and gone ahead and connected the probes. Let's go ahead and grab a battery and let's check its voltage here. So here we go. And here we go. 15.3 volts. Remove it. Zero volts because we're not measuring anything. So that's awesome. Now, the best part of all, I mean, okay, so it's a multimeter, so what? It's, I mean, it saves time for you to grab your multimeter and you can just keep your wires next to this guy. But the best part of all, which is this right here. So let me just show you. I'm going to show you a quick demo before we actually get into the details of this. This is an LED, and it's a 12 volt LED, all right? And I've made these banana clips for it, so let's just go ahead and plug this guy in. And let's switch it to output display, which means power supply mode. So this is actually also a power supply. So it's on f six volts right now, and I'm just increasing it. So this is a 12 volt LED, and as you can see, it's lighting up. So, and it's taking 0.64 milliamps so that's just insane. So um, 
Yeah, okay, so well, okay, we might say, well, what can I use this for? Well, a lot of things actually. Let's just say, for example, something's wrong with your PDB and your VTX is not working. All you gotta do is connect these guys, set it to whatever voltage your VTX takes or whatever you want to test it on, and give it power. That's all you have to do. Camera has an issue, give it external power. Just make sure you ground everything together. Your flight controller is not booting on USB, give it power. Um, you're e flashing your ESC, you don't have a motor connected and uh, you're flashing it through Arduino, you can just give it power through here. Um, it's just, it's that awesome for debugging. So if you wanna just to quickly test why something is not working or you just wanna turn on your VTX, just you know, outside your VTX and your camera just to test them without a PDB or anything. Just go ahead and connect, you know, the video signal together and just connect your power, power to these guys and turn it on, set it to whatever voltage, and you're good to go. It's, it's, <laughs> and all this is for $125. And you guys have not even seen the things that it comes with. Needle nose tweezers, you get all the heads for these, this guy right here. You get so many t soldering iron tips. Even this stand comes with it. I didn't have to buy anything, that's it. I bought this kit and I've been using this kit for the past year and I've never had to do anything. Obviously this one I made myself, but um, yeah, it comes with these wires, but I didn't like the ones it came with, but that's nothing to make. This is like, what, dollar, two dollars? And um, for example, this sponge has been with me for over a year and a half now, or a no, year and two months now since I've gotten it. This whole thing is just insane. It's It's, it's been... A beauty really um, this is like one of my best friends because it's just so reliable I just go there click it and I just start working um, I never have to think twice about it I want to quickly I don't know where, where the hell I put my multimeter multimeter mode turn it on measure voltage I need to check a camera powered um, power bench mode set my voltage and I'm good to go and it gives you the amp reading however this is rated 15 volts max 2 amps for the power supply in here don't exceed that this is not a full-fledged power supply bench but this will get us most of the things done for us especially me this has just been a beauty um, I can't complain and the reason why I'm making this is it's because it's been a year and two months and it's still performing solid I've never had an issue um, I click the switch everything always works any switch Whatever I do, everything's always working. Uh, the USB is working. It just works beautifully. So the reason why I'm making this is because I do highly recommend this. And it's only going for $125, which is insane. And I'm going to leave a link down below in the description. Go ahead and check it out and see the things that it comes with. You're going to be amazed. But, and they're not shitty quality. I'm just telling you that. Except the wires are shitty quality. Uh, the connectors that come here. Just go ahead, like I told you, just get your own. Or just buy one for like 2 bucks, and you're good to go. But other than that, it's... In, it's an insane deal. Um, let me put it into another perspective. If I saw this at one of my friend's house and he told me this cost 500 bucks, the next day I would go order it. It is that good. So don't let the price fool you. This thing is a fucking beast. No joke. And that's going to conclude it for this video, guys. So I really hope you guys enjoyed it. And I'll leave a link down in the description below. And I will see you next time. See you guys. Take care.